Hey bro. Hey man. What's going on? Welcome to the Rob Vlog. <laughs> how's, how's Friday night? Oh, it was actually crazy. So, flew down first thing in the morning on Friday. Took the kids out of school as you do. I was nervous, but excited because it's a big thing obviously for myself and the family. And being inducted into a Tassie Hall of Fame is something that you only dream about as a kid. You don't actually even think about it because you don't think it's a possibility. You only think like the legends of the game and stuff get done. But awesome night. Really got to see some big names in the, in the Tassie footy community. Um, had all my family there. The kids came down mum dad my two sisters my two brothers didn't come because they're lazy fuckers but and to be um, noticed um, as you know playing a, a pretty big role being a Tasmanian boy playing 240 plus games at AFLs it's actually like really humbling and getting on stage and doing my speech oh, I didn't have anything prepared because I love to wing it as everyone knows who are watching this I love to talk shit and I can talk underwater so it's easy money but that was amazing so like on the night it's not really about what you've done for the game it's kind of acknowledging what everyone else has done for you so I really wanted to make it about um, my parents and my sisters and my family and the kids and stuff so I didn't take the Block coming down with me. I gave it a chance. He used it for a little bit, but you all know Chance and his filming abilities isn't great. He just filmed his face half the time. But here's a little bit of footage from the night. Nothing special, but just a little bit of insight to what it looked like. I'll run it for you now. What's going on, guys? We're here at the AFL Tasmanian Inductees Night Hall of Fame dinner with my family. Tonight. Mitch Robinson's football journey began with the Lauderdale Football Club, winning the Senior Best and Fairest Award at 18 years of age. Mitch was selected at pick 40 by Carlton, making his AFL debut in 2009 and amassing 100 games before moving on to the Brisbane Lions in 2015, sharing the club's Best and Fairest Award that same year. Mitch Robinson was a fan favourite at the Lions over his 147 games, thanks to his physicality. Coached by fellow Tasmanian Chris Fagan and moving to a role as a defensive wingman, the young Brisbane Lions team became a premiership contender once more. Retiring in 2022 and recognised for his achievements and style of play, Mitch Robinson is our 328th inductee into the Tasmanian Hall of Fame. Congrats, straight man. How do you feel standing here? A lot to say, I was there when you were drafted all those years ago down at uh, Lauderdale. We got a little bit nervous there at one stage. <laughs> so you thought you were going to be towing, but you eventually got to the Blues, obviously, and here you are in the Tasmanian Football Hall of Fame. Yeah, that was a nerve wracking day, actually. I um, had a few of the news coverage people at my house, and I kept sliding and sliding. And Adelaide called me the night before, and Collingwood called me and said, Oh, yeah, we'll take you in the 20s. I was like, oh, sweet as, and that didn't happen. I took Dan Beams and someone else, which is a pretty good pickup, to be honest. But <laughs> so the 30 something and 40 came along, and I, I got picked up, and I hadn't spoken to Colton really at all uh, in the draft. So um, when Juddy calls you, literally half an hour later, and Eddie Benz knows guys, I was like, I've made it. Absolutely. <laughs> Went out to our um, observatory that night, had a great night. <laughs> Started your career in Seoul, it's good, it's good. 247 games, 100 games, obviously in two different clubs, which... Thanks guys, appreciate that. We're proud of calling you Tasmanian too. Well, uh, congratulations on being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Inductee 328, Mitch Robertson. We had to fly the next day, as well, I didn't get drunk because I had to play footy the next day and that takes me to flying out first thing in the morning to Brisbane and when you, you're boarding at 9 o'clock and nothing's happening until 9.30, you're like, this isn't great news. And my coach is texting me saying, well, oh, send me the flight details, send me all this, we need to see when you get here. And then we got the PA announcer saying that there's an engineering delay going on. So that pretty much means you're not fucking flying. Get on the next flight if you can. So we're already cutting it fine. And then I reckon 10.30, we got on the plane and got to the game 20 minutes before the game started, which was good for me because I hate warming up, I've been doing it for 14 years, I don't really care about that anymore. And the body's just ready to, ready to go. Emma said to the, the day of that you're going to have your best game. Don't worry about it, just get there and prepare as you best you can. I'm just going to show you the highlights because I don't need to pump it up. This will do it for you, so I'll flick you through the highlights. Let's go.
end up having 40 touches, 12 clearances, 14 inside 50s, seven tackles, and probably the best game of my life, to be honest. So, so I'm about to go do some boxing right now. Hope you enjoyed the vlog so far. I'm about to go do some boxing because there's only about four or five games left of the footy season, and I'm probably going to be throwing my hat in the ring at some stage. So I'm trying to get that base fitness up. I had eight weeks off, and now it's my second game back from my MCL. So I'm still getting the lungs ready, football ready, but boxing is a whole other ball game. It's a dedication, and I'm trying to learn the fundamentals, the basics, the movement and stuff because I can throw punches. But I just want to learn some basics, and Chris Rose boxing, um, he, he's looking after me. So stay tuned. Here's some little bit of me punching the shit out of the mitts. That's about it. If you are still here, make sure you like and subscribe. New car, though. Brand new whip. And we're in this Toyota Hilux Rogue, baby. You know how Big shout out to downtown Toyota, you know what it is because this car is elite. I don't know why they gave it to me, but I'm doing something right. So shout out to Liam and the guys down there. The team is awesome. I have it for a whole year and I plan on doing some mad doughies in this cul-de-sac right here. So sorry Let's about go. that. And I just don't know what to say. Like, is this a sick car? And it looks that sexy. So I plan on doing some more stuff with it. Thanks guys, I'll see you when I see ya. Watch this baby. Hey, few. Thanks, bye. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, really good. These lungs, bye. Oh, I'm fucked. Thank you. Pleasure, brother. I'll tag you, Rosie.